afternoon. After seeing each other again for the first time in 65 years, it's goodbye again. The second round of reunions for war-separated Korean families came to a close just a few minutes ago, with families leaving each other to return home after the final session. For the latest, our Unification Ministry correspondent Song ji Sun is standing by at the Inter-Korean Dialogue Headquarters in Seoul. Uh, ji Sun, so the families have shared their last words and moments together. Right, Mark, their time together is now over, and they're now having lunch at Mount Kungang as we speak. And they're about to set to cross the border sometime after 3 p.m. after departing Mount Kungang sometime after 1 p.m. Pyongyang time. Now, the two hours of the farewell session, which was extended by an hour as Pyongyang agreed to Seoul's proposal earlier, but the 12 hours over three days cannot be enough for these families separated by for decades. 88-year-old Yi Bo-soon has to leave her son who was abducted by the North while fishing on a boat in the West Sea in 1972. She cried her heart out and doctors had to stand by right next to the table through the whole time. Another South Korea's oldest participant, 98-year-old Yi seok ju returned to the table to see his son and grandson in the North for one last time after staying in the hotel room all day Sunday from fatigue. And the only couple in this round of reunions stayed close by each other's side for the last two hours. Without saying too much as words cannot describe what they feel right now, having to part again and not likely to be able to see each other again. Mark. Yes, well, we're seeing a video of the, the sorrow and the great distress those families are going through at the moment. But uh, it is a relief to the, the families and the relatives of those families that all the reunions were held as scheduled and that they can return home safely without too many issues. But how can we evaluate this event? Right, Mark, it's a relief to the families and relatives here and the North as well because there were times when the North stopped reunions in the past. But as for this reunion, there were some events that was not run as smoothly. As for the North approach, the atmosphere was much more stiff than the first round as participating family from the north attended the event following the search request of the families in the south. They kept looking around and wondered if their actions or words were appropriate and was actually hesitating to receive gifts from the south family. The road to Mount Kungang wasn't smooth either during the two rounds, with North Korea's border office screening laptop contents of the South Korean delegation and delaying immigration. But the 66,000 separated families in the south should not lose hope as the Red Cross of both Koreas have vowed to rev up cooperation toward establishing a permanent channel exchanges, including letters, after this round of reunions is complete. And I will keep you updated after the family check back at Sukcho sometime this evening. Back to you in the studio. Well, thank you very much, Ji Sun, for your report. That was our Song Ji Sun at the Inter Korean Dialogue headquarters in Seoul with the latest on the now completed war separated family reunions.